Hey guys, how's it going? So as you guys can see behind me, I already took off the Intec manifold. As you guys can see here, this is the studs we were talking about. These little studs right here. And these were on here originally for some spacers. But uh, Georgie originally didn't end up going through that route because of the plates shifting and creating vacuum leaks. So we're going to get rid of this setup and we're going to put the proper bolts. Here's the Intec manifold now. And you guys can see, this is one of my ported throttle bodies. Looks pretty good. This is actually the throttle body off Boogeyman, which is pretty nice. If I don't toot my own horn there, but looks pretty good. Uh, surprisingly, on this Intec manifold, there's a lot less uh, flashing than there is on mine. And I'll go ahead and show you guys. All right, guys, so as you guys can see here, we do have some flashing, kind of like M the MSD off Boogeyman, as you guys can see there. Um, not as bad as I've seen on some other ones. But enough to uh, to sacrifice some power for sure. So we'll go ahead and uh, clean all this up, make it more laminar. You guys can see there. But actually, production is gonna stop because my wife showed up and my little boy showed up, and it's time for Papa to take over. But as you guys saw, we're gonna do some cleaning up. Let me get some flashlights so you guys can see a little better. There's some pretty nasty stuff there, as you guys can see. Kind of nasty gunk there. And uh, pretty, uh, pretty disgusting, uh, pretty disgusting flashing there. As you guys can see that. Look how thick that is. Hey guys, so late night, I'm back in the garage. Uh, this MSD was not a, I, I had to port it. I had to port it because it was driving me nuts. It had a lot of uh, material in there, pretty good material in there. And b being that we're building a max effort NA build, you know, we got to, every little thing counts. So I did some mild porting on this thing. And uh, as you guys saw in the morning, how I showed you guys all that material, I'm gonna show you guys where we are at now. Okay, as you guys can see, um, this one's this side i already ported it um it's already at 120 grit so it's a little rough still but there's no more there's no craters anything like that so it's pretty good uh this is already like the final product uh it's already been polished so i don't know if you guys can see that let me get a better flashlight but you guys can see that so look at that no more obstruction no more heavy flashing looks pretty good huh so I'll do this side for you guys, you guys can see, looks pretty damn good, huh? So I did a little bit of pouring on the snout too, not done yet, but um, you guys can see there, got rid of all that nasty obstruction, so all I got to do is polish it, but uh, I got to polish this side, this side is basically done, um, just to kind of recap for you guys, I know a lot of you guys uh, have been you know, sending us messages about porting and stuff like that. Uh, basically, the way we did this intake manifold was we knocked down all the heavy grit with this carbide, right? We got rid of all of the heavy material with this. Then we 
got one of these uh, cartridges, kind of uh, grinded it down to the desired uh, uh, shape and size. And then we got a flapper wheel with the 60 grit, like this, to make sure that we were flat and no holes anywhere. Then we followed with a finer 120 grit flapper wheel. And this is how this, this is the final product of that, okay? Now, the final product of this side, which is super smooth, you can't even tell it's been poured it. Well, only if you see it. You, you're going to have some lines versus like how smooth the, you know, like MSD sends them out. Aside from the flashing, of course. But um, the way I polish these, and I'm going to do the snout here to make sure that there's no lines or anything like that, which don't affect performance at all because it's so, you know, fine. What I do is I get one of these cross buffs. And then I work my way down from coarse to smoothest. And when I'm done, you'll basically have this super beautiful, smooth. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I wish you guys could feel it. It's super smooth. But yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to call it for today because this already took quite some time. It actually, it's very tedious. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, tomorrow I'll finish polishing this side and then I'll follow up with a little bit more polishing on this just to make it look real nice blow it out wash it clean it make sure it's nice to go back on the truck then we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this bad boy no wait did I say that yeah no wait what we're gonna do is yeah we're gonna finish up with some polishing on the intake manifold make sure we get rid of uh, most of those uh, scuff marks that we made and we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap it with the gold tape and put it back on the truck and maybe go for a little test drive before we take the headers off. So that'll be pretty cool. So with that being said, guys, uh, see you in a bit. Okay guys, following day, we just finished porting the MSD or we should say cleaning up the MSD a little bit, mild porting, just a little cleanup. Uh, we didn't hog it out too much, just, just enough to get it clean and make it uh, really nice. So let me show you guys the finished product. Alright guys, here is uh, the finished product. You guys can see. Pretty good, pretty good, huh? Pretty good, not too bad. So, real nice transition. No obstructions anywhere. Everything's pretty good. We had to do a little bit more than a cleanup to get them to where, you know, there's uh, no obstruction in the little runner. But it looks pretty good. I even did the, the snout, as you guys can see. No uh, sharp edges anywhere. Um, looks pretty good, super smooth. So now we're going to move on to the next stage in this little uh, fun project, which is going to be putting some bling on this intake manifold. So uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, so we're gonna move on to putting the gold tape on the belly of the intake manifold. So this is gonna be a little extra barrier to protect it against the heat that's going up from the motor into the intake manifold that's gonna affect our air intake temperatures that will ultimately affect our performance. So the first thing we're gonna do before we wrap this uh, intake manifold is the following. We're gonna wipe it down with some brake cleaner uh, this is going to remove any uh, any oils, anything like that. I already cleaned it pretty good, as you guys can see. Uh, this thing was all full of oil on the bottom, but I already cleaned it all up. But you're going to wipe this whole area down with some brake cleaner, some acetone, you know, something to get rid of all the oils. Cool. And then we're going to get a a really sharp, you know, uh, knife because these little uh, thermal tape has like like fiberglass in it so if you don't have a sharp blade you'll just tear it but uh let's let's get to it so you can't really just throw like a big sheet over it you know so you have to kind of do it in pieces or at least that's the way i do it like if you just stick it over you're gonna have like this big old space there and stuff like that so just do pieces uh that's what i do so let's see how i'm gonna do this i'm gonna start with one piece You guys can see there it has like fiberglass Let's see brainstorming brainstorming
Okay guys, so this is what we used, reflect the gold, and it says, uh, perfect for engine compartments, bulkheads, fuel cells, air boxes, intakes, fuel lines, and more, ultra lightweight and highly conformable, kinda, minimal clearance needed, self-adhesive for use installation, and it is a heat barrier with self-adhesive backing. Alright, so there it is. Let's uh, keep moving along. Let's install this bad boy. Alright guys, check out those runners before we slap it back on. Looks pretty good. A little bit of mild porting. Uh, the little wetness you see along the lines, that's oil. That's what, because you didn't have a catch cap. So there's oil in between the lines, but it's not a obstruction or nothing like that. Everything's very uniform. So let's slap this bad boy on. Okay, that's the intake back on the truck. The cleaned up snout looks pretty sharp. Man, I'm excited to fire this thing up. All right, guys. So um, as you guys can see, I have the, the truck back together without wrapping the intake tube and all that stuff. That's because uh, I'm really curious to see how this thing's gonna start, right? So uh, we did a little bit more than we anticipated to. We ended up doing some mild porting on the runners. We got rid of an, a little adapter, as you guys can see here. So this little adapter was there. And basically what it would what, what they were using it for because this is what you use basically when you have an OEM throttle body to bolt on to an MSD so what we found out originally what Georgie was using it for was to help push the throttle body out a little bit to clear the alternator and because uh, it helped align the throttle body um, in an angle position to clear this uh, alternator so what we ended up doing was we reamed out the bolts more we brought them in closer right so gives it a little bit more uh play with the throttle body and then we ended up grinding the back of the throttle body a little bit more this is where all this material came from but we got it to fit without that little spacer which was i don't know if you guys can tell but there was about a quarter inch of uh bottlenecking so definitely some um some turbulence and some robbing of power there um so I'm very excited. Uh, I just want to see this thing start because we did quite a bit of changes to the airflow and the whole like throttle body learning curve because now it doesn't have that little back piece holding air. So um, I just want to start it. So I couldn't wait. So I'm going to fire it up. Now this thing is camped and it turns on radical anyways. So let's just hope the idle adjusts itself, right? So let's see. Okay, here's a moment of truth. started up really really good this thing used to start very erratic it was just like ah, ah, all over the place right um and there was a little bit of things that i addressed there was a little bit of vacuum leaks and things like that um but this thing started a lot better than it did before this is crazy look Oh guys well that's fantastic um very excited to see that there was no um issues with this thing like not trying to turn on or idling all crazy which sometimes can happen if you guys start messing with like the throttle body and things like that but um pretty cool pretty kick-ass let's uh let's continue with wrapping the intake tube the air box and georgie hasn't brought the thermostat so we won't be able to do that but we will be able to close this video out because it's going to get pretty long so let's uh Let's uh, stop there, let's wrap this intake tube, and then we'll call it a day, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the G's Footage Studio. All right, so before I end the video, this next clip, first of all, apologizing, you guys, for not recording the actual wrapping of the intake.
tube or the air box so i'm gonna show you guys some pictures on the how it came out and finish it off with this clip that you guys are gonna see where georgie comes back after driving the black china for about like 10 minutes or less it's running hot and uh they hit it with the temperature gun uh to to read how cooler it got and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed uh episode two and uh stay tuned for episode three where uh we wrap the headers and uh see what's after that so thanks for watching and uh enjoy the rest of the video Ninety-four, yeah, ninety-three. That's after. Oh, oh wait, I'm still at the alternator. <laughs> Ninety-six, ninety-seven. What was that one? One hundred and three. That's now. Ninety-eight, ninety-six. Well, actually, this one's not going to be accurate because the, the, yeah. the, the bottom of it is what we want to measure. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Oh, are you right here. 80 inside. inside? That's not bad, bro. <laughs> not bad. No, but look at how quick it's. No, but I thought antes se sentía bien caliente. So I... right now, dogging it 93, and before it was uh, 95. After five minutes of just idling. Oh, five minutes of idling. This is uh, like 15 <laughs> minutes of beating on it. Yeah. Really beating really on it. Beating on it. We run it like to seven grand. Oh. Jesse, how does it run? Runs good. Real good. What do you think, George? I wanted to let Jesse drive it, but I don't think so. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I don't need responsibility. <laughs>